The most important thing that you could do to cause damage to a patient with a catastrophic bleed is not to treat them correctly when you apply a tourniquet. This can make them much, much worse. Also, delaying in applying an effective tourniquet will lose valuable blood from the body and make the situation more serious. Hesitating in using a tourniquet over fear of doing it wrong will also lose valuable time and blood. Applying the tourniquet not tight enough will mean the blood is still lost from the body as the tourniquet blocks the venous return and all the blood will be forced out and none will be able to return through the veins. Therefore, you can do real damage to a person if you do not apply the tourniquet tight enough. It was previously thought that a limb could be damaged or lost if the tourniquet was left on too long and the times quoted were in the regions of 15 minutes. This is not the case although there are no exact guidelines, and if there were, these would vary depending on their size and the nature of the injury. Trials have shown that losing a limb after the application of a tourniquet is rare, and if the limb is lost, then it may be that the injury has caused the limb loss, not the tourniquet. The tourniquet has in fact stopped the bleed, therefore it saved the person's life. Reperfusion injury is where blood is returned to the body after a period of lack of oxygen, and this can be fatal. But recent research has shown that this is only a possibility after 60 minutes of, of the tourniquet being applied. As the tourniquet is removed in hospital, it will be the doctor who considers if reperfusion injury is a possible risk. As a general rule, Research shows that there is little risk of permanent injury from the application of a tourniquet for up to two hours. As a first aider, this means that there's little risk from applying a tourniquet, as, as long as we evacuate the person to the hospital quickly. If tourniquets are not used, there's a far greater risk to life when blood is lost. Where the loss of a limb is likely, the tourniquet would need to be applied for over six hours. But this is just a general guide, and the fact that we usually get help in minutes, not hours, this is very unlikely in general first aid. The point where the tourniquet is applied could also be damaged. This needs to be weighed up against the damage done if the tourniquet is not applied and the resulting blood loss. Applying the tourniquet hurts and there will be local pain, but this is necessary. Not applying a tourniquet tight enough can be fatal. So to summarize, the risk to the patient of not applying a tourniquet or applying it incorrectly far outweigh the risk of applying it correctly. When it's removed by a doctor in a hospital, if there is any damage, the patient is in the best place for the correct treatment to be given and you have kept more of the blood in the body. The person's chance of survival is increased and finally, it's fairly safe to leave it on for up to two hours. So this gives us plenty of time to evacuate them to the hospital.